Hey everybody, this video is to show how to create a dummy manifest uh, for a dummy route that would be ideal, for example, to allow your drivers to use the iPads to scan stops to. So this is ideal if, say, all of FCC goes down or is unavailable and the uh, API backend is all, is all down. This is a, a straightforward way that you can upload dummy routes into your system and build from there and use them however you'd like. Okay, so in this case, we are gonna start with uh, this particular awesome customer named Tetuan Enterprises. And so what we're gonna do is go over here to contact and terminals. And let's say we want to create, uh, we're gonna be working out of this one here, out of uh, Birmingham. Missouri, this is outside of uh, Kansas City. So what we can give you is this file here. And what you're gonna wanna get here is this file called One Stop Manifest, and it's just an Excel file. So the first thing that we wanna do in this file here is to change the date to today's date. So in my case, the date is actually October 23rd, 2019. So now I've got that. And then the next step here under, so I'm on this, uh, notice that this manifest, this Excel file actually has three sheets, header, stop details, and package details. So we're on the header tab or sheet of this Excel file manifest. So what, let's do this. Let's change this work area to something that maybe is not gonna conflict with any other work area, or you can use the same one if you want, but let's just call this work area one, two, three, four. And this date over here where it says export generated, we'll just delete that, because that doesn't matter. The only things that matter that are very important are the date and the work area number, which are in these fields right here. All right, next up on the stop details tab, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a one stop manifest that starts at the terminal. So you can just use this file here and notice that we're calling in the recipient uh, called terminal. You can just leave that. Under the address line, this is where we wanna use the address of your terminal. So. In order to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch back over here to our terminal address. In this case, it's the one at Birmingham. So I'm just gonna copy that street address, flip back to Excel, paste it in here for address line one. I'm gonna flip back and come over here, grab the city of Birmingham. I'm gonna paste it right into here. And of course our state is Missouri. So let's just put in MO there. And lastly, our zip code right there. So we'll just go ahead and paste the zip code in here. Under completed, uh, we'll just leave that there. Make sure that says N, we'll just leave that alone. That's very important though, that has to stay N under the completed column. We don't need anything for the phone number, so we can leave that blank. All right, and then we're just gonna basically do the same thing here under package details. So we're just gonna go back, I'm just gonna go back here and copy out the address, the city, paste it in here, and the state, again, MO. Lastly, the zip code, I'm gonna paste that right here. All right, and that's it. So once you've created this one, you've modified this one stop manifest, which is now set to have one stop at your designated terminal. So once you've done this, you don't ever have to change this file again as far as the stop details sheet nor the package details sheet. Okay, so under header, so anytime you wanna use this or reuse this, all you're gonna do is make sure the date field is the current date, just like that is for today, October 23rd. And then you could even save this file and then upload it to us at GroundCloud and then change the work area field to something else and do it again. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna make sure that I save this file. 
So it's now saved. And I actually saved it into uh, this folder here uh, called supports. All right, I call it one stop manifest right there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over to back to our portal and under manifest tab like this, I'm going to go ahead and, and click on upload PND manifest and I'm going to choose our file which is right here, this uh, one-stop manifest. Go ahead and click on open. And then of course the terminal is that Birmingham terminal. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and click on continue. And you can see here's our route that we just named one, two, three, four. Of course, it's only one stop. But here's the cool thing. If I go on to the overview right now, and uh, if I just go ahead and search, for, so that's, uh, we got a number of routes here, but um, one, two, three, four is right here. There's no driver assigned and there's just one stop right here. So if we wanted to assign this to a driver, of course, we would just pick a driver and we'd go over here, click on the drivers tab, pick on a particular driver, Let's say it's Brandon right here. We'll click on assign route and then we will do this one, two, three, four like this and click on proceed. Okay, so now we have route dummy route one, two, three, four, which is right there now assigned to Brandon. So now Brandon, if, if Brandon logs into his iPad, he can then go ahead and tap on the manifest uh, view of the driver app and then tap on the barcode icon that's in the upper right corner and he can start scanning labels. Now just as a heads up we support the normal FedEx ground label with the 2D barcode that's what it's looking for. Uh, at the moment it's not going to recognize anything that's smart post. Uh, we are working on that hope to have that soon but it's not there yet. So right now the scan feature is, is looking for that 2D barcode on the label. All right, so if we wanted to do this again, let's say we want to do that and make another dummy route. So that one was one, two, three, four. Let's create one that's say one, three, four, five. Well, let's make it something big like 1500. So all I'm gonna do is change the work area I'm then going to save this file again. I've just saved it. And now I'm going to go back over to the portal, click on the manifest tab, hit upload PD manifest. And I can just re upload this same file because I've already changed it and saved it. Select my terminal, hit continue. And so there we go. We're, we've just uploaded another route. It's now 1500. So I can now assign that route 1500, that dummy route to another driver, and we can just keep going that. So that's, we can just keep doing this. So basically I can change this now. I want another dummy route, call it 1600. I'm just gonna save it, flip over to our portal, click on upload, choose the file, one stop manifest, here we go. Let's choose the terminal, hit continue. And there we go. Just like that, you can very rapidly create a lot of dummy routes and have them just get them assigned to drivers and then they can use that barcode scanning feature of the driver app off the iPad, scan in labels very quickly, adding all of those stops when they're done. They could just optimize the entire route by going into our zoning tool, circle the whole thing, all stops and hit and submit that and we will optimize the entire route for that. They could even then look at the manifest order after it updates and even get a load order for loading their truck if that's what they're going to do. So any questions on this, go ahead and call our support line at 218-864-7900. Thanks a lot. We love you guys. We'll talk to you soon.